This is video one of how to make a maxi dress using Vogue pattern 9363. Stay tuned. There's a few measurements you're going to have to take before we get started. Your chest, your waist, your hip, and the front length of the where you want the dress to be and the back length of where you want the dress to be. You can download this free measurement toolkit in the link below. We're going to be using Vogue pattern 9363 and if you look on the back you can find the finished measurements of the dress. You compare your measurements to that. Here's about a four inch ease so bear that in mind. I cut all the pattern pieces. There are four all together. There's uh, the tie which is number three the front bodice, which is number one, the front skirt, which is number two, and the back, which is number four. So what I'm gonna do is the first thing you have to do is take your measurements, and we went over that. Um, and I'm gonna add six inches to the bottom of this down here, to the whole bottom, and I'm going to uh, adjust it because my uh, top is smaller than my, uh, my waist and my hips, so I'm going to adjust it here as well. Um, because of the width of the, pat um, the fabric, I'm not going to extend the arm too long, the sleeve too long, so I'm probably just gonna add an extra inch and I'm gonna make it up with a two inch cuff. So I'm going to extend it about three inches, but two inches of it's gonna be the cuff. So here, this is the waistline. You can match it here. It's the waistline here, the darts. So you see. And now, I'm going to ease it in. I'm going to use a size extra large. I'm going to ease it in as much as possible here. So it goes to the next size smaller and what you can do is take either you can just you know draw it in I don't know if you can see that on camera let me just so you can see it just ease it in and then just follow this line and this is the cut line now so now you're just going to ease it in and you want to follow this and because I'm adding width to this, I mean length to the sleeve, I'm going to add it here and here. So this is going to be an inch and I'm going to take this measurement and cut here. So this is an inch. So I'm adding one inch to the, you know what, let me add three quarters because it's a um, 45 wide fabric and you want it to be able to fit. So I added, I must make this up when the sewing, or I can just take a piece of this and tape it on so that you have that piece. Okay, so now I, I extended the arm, the sleeve. I reduced the chest, and now I'm gonna follow along this line when I'm cutting it out. Now to add the length to the back piece. Here you can see it. I'm gonna add six inches, like I said. I'm gonna use, um, white dot paper, you can use whatever type of paper you have.
now I'm going to add six inches to extend this. Just mark six inches down so you have something to follow. Make sure this is a right angle because this is a seam. And then if you have just a straight ruler or you can use a hip curve. If you have one, if you don't have one, you can still use the straight ruler, but this is just a little easier because it blends. Make sure that this is on the right angle because this is a seam as well, and you don't want it to come to a point. You want it to be a smooth transition when you connect the seams. So now you have six inches extra on the back to make it uh, long. So now you just cut this out, but I'm just going to wait till I put it on the fabric and I just cut it out all together. I'm going to put this to the side and now extend the front bodice. I'm just going to extend the front bodice sleeve three quarters like I did the front I mean the back I'm just going to use the excess here so I don't have to use white paper Okay, so remember in the back, I took it in at the, uh, the chest area and blended it in to the waist. So I'm going to do the same here. Just blend it in. And then ease it in here so it follows the same curve. And that's what you have to do to the front. So basically, when you cut it out, the top is going to be smaller than the bottom. So it depends on your measurements. You might follow the whole, you know, extra large throughout the whole, or whatever size you are, you might follow the whole size straight through, but you have to adjust it based on your measurements. For, so my top is smaller than my bottom, so I adjusted it accordingly. So if you don't have to adjust it, then don't. You can just follow along the, um, your size but you should measure your body against the um, final measurements of the pattern. And it's about, it's fairly, it has a lot of ease in it. It's about maybe four inch ease. So you can adjust, you don't have to necessarily adjust it accordingly. You just take the, the ease into consideration. The ease is basically the amount of fabric that's left over after the measurement, after your body measurement. So this is the front skirt, which if you remember on the pattern is shorter in the front than it is on the side. So in order for my legs not to show, I have to make the front longer and add six inches to the side, six inches to the side to match the back. So I'm going to add six inches here, and then I'm going to have to add the rest 
to the front. So what am I going to do is to make the front even with the side is I'm going to measure the difference. So here, the measurement is about, I would say, estimated about 20, let me see, about 20, so roughly just about 20. So I'm going to add 26 to the front. But I use my back is usually longer than my front. So actually I'm going to add minus two. So it's 20 inches to match the side and six inches extra to match the back. But it's going to be minus two inches. So I'm going to add 24 inches. So instead of 26 inches, which is the total here, I'm going to take two inches off for the front and add 24 inches here. Now, because the fabric is 45 inches wide, when you lay it out, this part is going to be too long and it's going to fall off the fabric. So in order to have this pattern piece fit on a 45 inch wide fabric, I'm going to have to take out some of the fullness, which is fine because this is almost like a circle skirt and it's a lot of fullness in the front. So I'm going to lose a little fullness, but I'll be able to fit the pattern piece on a 45 inch wide fabric. So in order to take out fullness and for the pattern piece to fit, I'm just going to draw a line. First mark where the seam allowance is, which is five eighths from the edge. So here it's about five eighths and here is five eighths so right where this little circle is is where we're going to cut and sew so we're going to cut here and then we want to make another line straight down So you just take your longest ruler and make a line straight down. It really doesn't matter where, but I guess just for these purposes, I'm going to make it straight here. Okay, so I'm going to take about 14, depending on how tall you are, you might have to take more, but I'm about five, four and a half, five, five. So I have to take out seven, 14 inches so that it can meet, it can fit on the 45 inch wide fabric. So if you're taller than that, you would take out, maybe you'll take out more. If you're shorter than that, you don't have to take out as much. So the only way to find that out is to lay this on the 45 inch wide fabric first and then do what I'm doing is basically just you're going to pivot the, the pattern piece until it fits and whatever the measurement is here, that's how much you have to take out, right? So I'm going to measure 14 inches from this line. And that's where I have to match it. So in order to pivot, I'm going to slash here up into this line. So you see, you have to cut up into this point. You see how it slits? Okay. So it's easier to just draw another line so that you can match it. So you're going to fold along this line. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. Just as straight as possible. And then you're going to pivot. Fold it over. It's going to form a triangle. And then you just match that line. So when you see your final, it looks like this. This is going to be uneven, but it's going, you're going to even it out once you add the length to the front of the skirt. This part is uneven, but you're not going to worry about this because you have to add length to the front and it's going to basically cover all of this. So all you have to do right now is tape it to hold it in place. So in order to stabilize this piece, I'm just going to use an extra piece of pattern paper so that this is stabilized. And I'll put this on the right side. You see the tape keeps it in place and you can cut out the excess on the other side and tape it down okay so now I'm going to add six inches to the side seam and I'm going to add 24 inches to the front seam. I don't know if the camera angle is going to show all this, but I'll do the best that I can. Okay, so I added my white dot paper to make the front longer. This is the center front. And then I added enough, you can't see it on camera, but I'll move it when I add it to the side seam. So right now, we already determined that we're gonna add the, um, we have to extend the front, let me put this here, keep this down. We have to extend the front 20 inches to match the side seam. And I'm going to measure from the bottom of the top because that's how much it measures at the side seam. So from here to the bottom is 20 inches. So I'm gonna add 20 inches to match the front. Then I added six inches from the back and I'm adding six inches to the side, but in the front, because my back is longer than my front, I'm only gonna add four inches. So it's a two inch difference. So instead of 26 inches, I'm gonna add 24 inches from the bottom of the top cut line. So 24 inches from the bottom of the front cut line is here. So you take a ruler and you match the front so that it's on a straight line. And you match where you marked it and you make the front. a red marker. So I used to use a pencil. So that's the center front and him. 
So now, let me just switch the pattern over so you can see the side seam. So this is a side seam, and we're going to add six inches to match the back. So I take my ruler, add six inches, match the side seam, match the six inches, and draw a line. So now I have to blend the bottom hem. This here. So you have to blend these two lines together. So this is the line that I'm cutting at. So if you look at the line, just make it so that it looks round. Here it looks a little funky, so just make it as round as possible. It doesn't look as round as it should. That's a little better. So I'm going to cut from that line. And now you just cut out your pattern piece and then we're going to put it on the fabric to lay it out. Here are all your pattern pieces laid out on a 45 inch wide fabric. The front bodice is cut on a bias to get the V stripes in the front. As you see on the sketch there are cuffs so don't forget to cut that out at five and a half inches wide and 15 inches long. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and notification bell. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments. This is Zahia from Cover Me Chic, making modest fashion look fabulous on you. I'll see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.